Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here, and I'm back, and I'm here to do talk about the Will Smith Chris Rock Academy Award drama. We ain't gonna call it controversy; it was drama. So I wanted to talk about this because I felt like Chris Rock's joke was insensitive, and do I feel like Will this gonna affect Will? Smith's career? Probably not. And I'm gonna give you why. So let me talk, let's talk about the incident. So I was, I did watch the Academy Awards. Beyonce was stunning. I'm gonna come back and talk about that at a later date. But Chris Rock was coming out to present the award for documentary. Okay, he just could have just um, just went on and did his thing. Okay, that's all I felt like. Okay, but he, I don't know if um, the Academy Award put him up to do, a, to do a joke or he just did the joke on the fly. Um, I don't know if they, if he did decide to do a joke, did they pre-approve the joke or what? So that's my thing. So when he, and he, I think he intentionally did that intentionally to attack the Smiths because uh, when he hosted, they boycotted um, the Academy Awards. Okay, Will Smith was snubbed at that, that particular time because um, he did the movie Concussions. Okay, and I still say Concussions should have been nominated. I'm just saying. And, and thing. so as y'all know, this year, Will Smith was nominated for King Richard. For now, the movie about the Serena and Venus Williams um, dad. All right, my thing is, Chris Rock, you talked about this guy's wife, and you didn't think he was going to be. So he's said the joke like, oh, Jada Pickett Smith liked the cut, and oh, I can't wait for G.I. Uh, Jane 2 to come out. Everybody kind of guilt. Some people, you kind of see people like, eh, should we should laugh, should we should not? But they kind of giggled a little. And Jada gave this look to Will. Are you going to say, gave this look like, are you going to say something to this guy? And then Will go and proceed and say, keep my wife's name out your mouth twice. If you look over Will's shoulder and you see Peter Nyong'o's face, her face going, I'm like, okay. Now it's going to get ready to go down. So Chris Tucker proceeds to say it, say his wife's name, and Will gets up. He goes to that stage, and he, Philly style, let me just say, let me put it like this, Philly style um, slaps the taste out of his mouth. And let me just tell you something. No, I'll say no man should disrespect no other man's wife or girlfriend wife, girlfriend, significant other, a female of, of anybody's family, no matter what. If anybody doesn't know, Jada Pickett suffers from a disease called alopecia, and that's um, loss, to, loss of hair. And if you want to know more about alopecia, it's a lot of hairstylists here on YouTube. I will try to get you um, some of their, that that does do videos with alopecia, um, clients and stuff but Jada is Jada Pickett is a stunning young woman is a stunning let me say not young but stunning older woman that still looks young at heart let me put it that way she still looks stunning without her hair and she looks gorgeous and if I was the man in the audience and after Will Smith came down I would have stood up and said and I really doubt all the men would have stood up and said, oh, we're behind Will Smith. That wasn't called for. I was really waiting for them to say that. But they, none of them didn't. So they go to the come, they go commercial break after the incident. After Chris presented and after the incident. Okay. It's a video you can see that is, is on the tube. It's from behind the seat after this, after the conflict, after this happens, after they go to the commercial break. 
and you see Will come and you see Will crying. You see Tyler Perry and you see Denzel and other male actors come over and try to console um, Will Smith and everything. And Will Smith wins the award for leading, best leading man for King of Richard. And so I'm wondering during that time while they was in the commercial break, did the cat anybody a representative from Academy Awards come up to Will and say, Okay, um, would you kinda apologize um behalf of um by apologize ask him to apologize for the situation and stuff to the viewers. That's my one I'm wondering for him also putting in a pop in his acceptance speech, an apology. An apology. And that's my thing. Did the Academy Awards ask him to apologize because they was on on a live broadcast? That's my thing. So we need to think about that. So then, our, a lot of celebrities are not talking about it, but I really believe some of the celebrities felt like Chris, I wrote to me, I'm going to say Chris Rock went too far. He might have, he might feel a certain way when he um was hosting that they wasn't there, but you don't go after a man's wife like that. To me, you went too far. And I'm going to put the question out there. If this was happen in today's world, um, how many of y'all men would protect your queen, your queens? I mean, protect your wife or your girlfriend, your sister, your mother, your aunt, your daughter. How many of y'all would protect them? And my thing is, I hope this situation does not affect Will Smith's career, career, and like I don't, you don't know with certain incidents. Some incidents um um helps career. Some incidents doesn't. So we're gonna have to see what what what's gonna happen. What's gonna what what we're going to see from Will Smith after this incident, especially with his career wise. And I'm we're gonna have to just give it a couple months to die down because really and truly, I really feel. Will Smith didn't need to apologize. It was Chris Rock who needed to apologize. And to this day, I still say, I still, people, y'all can agree with me or hate, agree with me or not agree with me. But I really feel Will Smith did not need to apologize. But I um, did not need to apologize. But I think um, the Academy asked him to apologize because the was on, they was on a live broadcast. And then the second thing is, um, I really believe Chris Rock really needs to apologize because he was insensitive. And y'all, let me tell, let me hear from y'all. Do y'all think Chris Rock is the one who needs to apologize? And do you think um, Will Smith should have apologized? And do y'all think the Academy Awards asked him to apologize since they was on a live broadcast? And let me hear from y'all. Let me hear from y'all men. If that was you and somebody did that to your wife, your mother, or any female member of your family, um, and they had the disease alopecia, would you smack them too? So, like I'm saying, Will Smith was protecting his queen. Until then, y'all, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.